Like 10 keys, that's your download. Tap in. Not the download, download, download. Peace, family. Today's download is something you go love because it's about love. You understand me? Uh, the key quote for the day is, self-love is the reflection of all love. Life's only vulnerable existence. Love. Poetic, right? Like the most vulnerable existence is loving another person, being in love. You understand me? It's when we are most vulnerable because anything can happen. The most dangerous thing is giving someone else, you understand me, your love, your heart. Because they can let you down at that moment. You understand me? Or they can help raise you up. It's giving them permission to be inside your life. But it takes a strong man to love, right? Vulnerability is a strength. You understand me? Because... It is the essential quality of saying I'm strong enough to let my guard down, right? And when you allow somebody to get close enough, they can affect you in the most emotional ways. So we live in a world where most people are afraid because it's like that child that once touched fire. So now he's afraid of the fire. He's afraid that you go get burned. You understand me? And this has happened to many different people before. That's why everybody's walking around hating their exes. You understand me? Hating your ex shouldn't even be a thing in society. But unfortunately, it is. It's a reality, and everybody is somebody ex. Right? Even though that every person that you was with has taught you a lesson. You understand me? But we glorify the toxicity and culture that makes us hate the person that changed us and help us evolve. Unfortunately, you know, a large percentage of us has been toxic to somebody. We womanized and women have, I guess, manized. I'm not sure what that word is, right? And where you hurt somebody because of your own immaturity, right? Somebody hurts you and then it becomes a cycle of hurt. You hurt somebody, somebody else hurts you. You understand me? And unfortunately, sometimes you can meet the right person at the wrong time, Right? And that person made you so good that you're now better for them, but it's too late because that person doesn't have the emotional ability to get back with you because you hurt them. And now they live the trauma every time they see you because we never learn how to heal properly. We don't learn how to heal. We learn how to deal. We just deal with things as they go along. Right. And some of the ways that we deal with things are toxic. You understand me? Because then get out of relationship. Well, hmm. Let me not think about, let me not self-reflect over what just happened. Let me just jump into another one to distract myself from the pain. All right? Let me not take responsibility and ownership of things that I've done, maybe things that I've seen that I let go. Right? No. Let me hate this person because I feel like they did me wrong. Love is a beautiful thing, but love is duty. It's not just the flowery emotions of romanticism that we were taught. You understand me? The romance comes from the Romans anyway, right? The true love and the way that the Africans did it is different than the way that we was taught in the Europeans. Do you even know what African love is? See, that's a question you must ask because we were taught in a society from all of these European films, right? Young girls were fed the Disney tales, right, of cartoons, of Prince Charming, looking for a reality that doesn't exist. And most of those things didn't make sense because they were sexist, right? Women ain't just waiting in castles for a man to just pull up and swoop up on him. You understand me? And come back to life if they get kissed and most of them look like white men with blonde hair. There was never an example of true love that was set in the fairy tale. Fairy tale love don't exist. And if you're looking for that, that's the reason that you keep missing it. Because the real love is finding somebody that you can build with. Finding somebody that you can work with. Sign is finding somebody that you can grow with. Love comes with pain. I'm sorry to tell you, but that's part of what you sign up with. It's going to come with pain, mostly because pain comes with growth. Right? And the good love grows you. You understand me? If you, get, you fall in love with somebody that don't grow you, how do you know that that's love at all? If you like me and I have plants, you understand me, and, 
If I don't love my plants, they die because I got to water them. And if I don't water them, they die. And if I water them, then I must love them because I want them to grow. I want them to live. I appreciate them. I'm giving value to them, sustenance to their life. Right. And so we have very shallow relationships and connections because we were never taught how to love because we didn't see it in a household. We didn't see it in the movies. We don't hear it in the music. We have lost the content of love. And we have went into a society that is content with lust, content with infatuation rather than true affection. And when we get to a place where we will learn to love again, we will stop traumatizing each other because we've been traumatized and we love through trauma. So the trauma creates the drama. And we think that, well, if this person is heightening their emotions and they're yelling with me and dealing with me, then this must be love for them to deal with me. <laughs> because you used to just dealing with the trauma because you never healed with it. So if somebody deals with you and this is the way that you deal with and the way you think you love yourself, you think that that person loves you as well. You understand me? We trauma bond with people way too much. But what if love has standards? Because people always talk about unconditional love, and I don't believe in unconditional love. Love comes with the most conditions. You understand me? It comes with the most conditions. Right? Now, don't get me wrong. Women have less conditions a lot of times than men. Right? They love bum dudes all the time. Man ain't got nothing. She still love you. You understand me? But women ain't got to a point where they tired of loving nothing because they loved your potential right but you never produced it into reality because you kept living off excuses right you kept making excuses instead of producing but love is a in relationship that's a business you can't sustain a relationship just off love there has to be something that grows you it has to be something that pulls you together you understand me uh, if you are building something with a person, now you are invested in that situation. But if it was just love in that relationship and love has its peaks, valleys, ups and downs and the love goes, there's no more connection. You understand me? There has to be an intrinsic love there. So relationships are a business. It is about building together. Business is the activity of life. So the activities in which you do should be profitable. It should be an investment that gives you a better outcome than the energy that you put in. And each person's love is their own responsibility, right? Or each person's happiness is their own responsibility. But we no longer understand the duty of love. See, men are taught in society, well, the way I love is, you know, I protect, provide. You understand me? Uh, I'm an educator, right? That's, that's the way I provide love. But women, today's era of women are not even taught what they're supposed to do in order to receive besides open up their legs and possibly be some peace. All right? It would be smart if that was a standard in society. But I hear it all the time. I hear all the time that, well, you know, a man got to. He got to pay all the bills. He got to provide. He got to protect. He got to do this, that, and the third. He has to be in this masculine role. And so the masculine role can be defined when you're looking for a man, right? Especially when it comes to money because that's one that nobody wants to touch. And people say, what? well, you know, what, 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 what love got to do with it, right? Because when you got money, you can buy love. Somebody will love you for your money. <laughs> they don't love you. They love you for your money, though. They got to if you ain't got the money, then the love goes. You understand me? But if society learned to love the principles and the character of each other, then there will be more than just monetary satisfaction. But I'm going to leave y'all with this because I just wanted to be a download. I really just wanted y'all to think real quick. I'm going to come back and I'm going to give breakdowns of each one of the subjects that I taught when it comes to love. But I want you to think about this. You know, when you go through a situation, I don't want you to become worse. I want you to become better. Right. Throughout time, I made a promise to myself that if I ever got my heart broke, I won't let it break me. Right. That I won't let it change me. If I did good things for a person and I treated them right, 
I'm going to treat the next person even better so that they can get the same opportunity as the person who treated me bad. But oftentimes when somebody treats you bad, you don't give that next person your all anymore. You don't show them that greatness. You don't give this next person who may be even better for you that same version of yourself because somebody else robbed you of your purity. They robbed you of that essence. So now you don't trust anymore. So now they never even get to meet the trusting version of you. They never meet the greatest version of you because you hold so much back because you think that nobody is worthy of it anymore. Right? So they treat you not as a person that comes to them as their greater self. They treat you in the same manner that they're dealing with, right? A person that's been hurt. So now they don't know how to love the true you. They learn to deal with the new you, the hurt version. But if you go through every situation in life and you get better, you take the lessons from it. You don't let it change. You don't let it break you. You don't stop operating from this place of trauma. Each person that meets you next, they meet a better version of you. Right? Because if one person cheat on you, then you treat the next person like they go cheat on you. Maybe they don't. But they get tired of you being suspicious of them and you act in a certain way. And now you don't bring the same quality of peace. Now you don't bring the same quality of love. You don't bring that same quality of energy because you're holding back. Right? So they never get to truly love that greater version of you. So they say, you know what? I'll go somewhere else. I'm not about to deal with this. I'll find somebody that can give me their whole. Not somebody that can give me pieces of themselves. Holding back who they truly are waiting for me to be worthy you understand me so you have to learn to be vulnerable enough but also be smart enough to not constantly jump into the arms of people that's going to hurt you by constantly attracting the same person because you never dealt with your traumas you never healed from the issues and problems so when you put out that signal into the universe of what you want you're constantly beaming the same trauma back to yourself, constantly beaming the same person. Ask yourself, if you get out of a relationship, why is it that you seem to attract somebody who is just like your ex? Because that's all you got in your mind. That's all you got in your body and your energy. You can't attract nothing new until you become something new. Right? So when a person says, ah, oh, man, I only get these, they be doing this. You understand me? And then a woman said, I only get the same on it because, no. <laughs> what you didn't realize is that you can only attract the frequency in which you are. You can only attract the thoughts that you think, the feelings that you have, the emotions that you have. And the moment that you think different, you engineer a new pattern, you engineer a new rhythm, you engineer a new vibration and a new frequency, and it attracts something new. And it repels things that you don't need. But as long as you are operating from the same place, you attract the same thing over and over and over, blaming the world, never redesigning yourself. So I'm 19 Keys, and this was a brief download about love because self-love is the reflection of all love. And before you can love anybody truly and before anybody can truly love you, you have to learn how to love yourself. Once you learn how to love yourself, you will love yourself so much that you won't treat nobody wrong who loves you because you know that that love sustains you as well. Why would you treat somebody wrong that loves you? I'm not perfect, so I'm not coming here like Derek Jackson, you understand me, and, and acting like I'm, 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 I'm the, the, the guru of the world, but these are thoughts that i pondered on my whole life. These are thoughts that make me justify the understanding and the true nature of what lo love is. That if I love myself, I can't hurt nobody that loves me in any way because that's going to take love away from me that they giving me. So the self-love make me treat everybody else with better love. You understand me? I'm not going to rob myself and take something good away from myself because I love myself. But if you don't love yourself, you'll treat yourself any kind of way, which makes you treat other people any kind of way. You understand me? So if you ever been hurt by somebody... <laughs> It's because they didn't love themselves enough to know how to love you. And if you're alive and you're living and, you know, you feel like you can heal through that situation, don't hate nobody. 
let go. You don't forget, you learn the lessons, but you forgive because you don't want to hold on to that person's essence because then they still attached to you. You're in a relationship that's failed, holding on to it, bringing it to every relationship, dragging in baggage on every trip that you go on. Then you two are never truly alone because all your issues and problems are always packed with you. But once you learn how to truly free yourself, then you can tap into what real love is and that's self-love. Tap in, learn who you are. This is your download. In the comments, I want you to do me a favor. And I wanna know what is your definition of love? And how do you love yourself? I'm 19 Keys. Peace, family. Love. Today is the easiest time in the world to become a billionaire. There's Dogecoin billionaires, Shiba Inu billionaires, Ethereum billionaires, Bitcoin billionaires, and all sort of other chains that's on there. What you want to do is go to your favorite cryptocurrency site, right? Whether it's CoinGecko, whether it's Binance, whether it's Exodus, whether it's Trust Wallet, whatever you decide to use, and you can look at the coins and how they performed over the last year, right? Go look at what they did over the last year, right? Then you can determine if you would have put in $1,000, how much money you would have made over the course of the last 365 days. There's some coins that's up crazy, like 30,000%, some up million percent, right? Um, there's some coins that's just up 1,000%. There are some coins just this month up 500%, right? Now, when you're playing this game, you want to play the percentage game. I always said it's the easiest time in the world to become a billionaire. My question to you is, what are you waiting for? Now, I know your dreams, ideas may not be at the scale of billions, but perhaps you can make five figures, six figures, seven figures, eight figures, right? The opportunity to fire your boss and replace it with a skill set is ever present every single day. But every day that you ignore this market that's continuously growing and making more millionaires and allowing people to fire their jobs and create new opportunities, you are missing out on a growing industry. I want to be able to teach you tokenomics. I want you to be able to understand how to find coins without all of the FOMO, how to understand why they're valuable in the first place. This is what I teach in the Infinite Wealth Strategies. That's why my students get amazing results because they don't just take the information, we give them the mindset on how you actually go execute it. You understand me? Teaching them how to learn, teaching them the mindset, then giving them the game when it comes to cryptocurrency and the blockchain. I want you to join my community as well in the Infinite Wealth Strategies and I want you to become a strategist. Why? Because a strategist understands their choices, know how to plan and execute. There's an infinite wealth out there, but you need a strategy in order to get you some. There's always going to be another coin popping, but if you're not in, it don't even matter. Make sure you tap in to the Infinite Wealth Strategies so you can be ahead of the game instead of outside looking in. Tap in.